My Earth Signs, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, collectively, how are you? How are you? I will be doing September 6th through 8th, 2019. Weekend Reads, collectively, September 6th through 8th, 2019. You are with Hadia K, K Jaffa Gems. If you are new or returning to this channel, hey, 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 what's up? How are you? Like, share, subscribe, turn on notifications below so you'll be notified of the rest of my videos, babies. All right. So we're going to continue. We're going to do the September 6th through 8th, 2019 for collective Earth Signs, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, baby. All right. So let's go ahead and get started with your meditative reading. I also have my love oils, purity oils, um, protection oils, money oils, abundance protection. Abundance and Protection kits as well. Prosperity kits as well. Self-love kits as well. If you guys are interested in that, all that information will be in the description box below. I'm a little tongue-tied. I don't know. I feel like that wasn't that wasn't me. I don't know if you guys are trying to figure certain things out or you guys are trying to figure out how to say something to somebody. Okay. And if you are wanting to purchase my book, The Shedding Skin, where I talk about two same karmic relationships, energy vampires. That information will be in the description box below. If you are wanting to also book one of my one-on-one -on -one personal readings, that information will be in the description box as well, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Collectively, thank you, Spirit. Thank you, Mother, Father, Holy Spirit. For allowing me to be the vessel for my earth signs collectively, some rising Capricorn Virgo Taurus. August. Okay, so something in August is significant. So August, something that happened August 6th through 8th is going to be significant. Okay. For September 6th through 8th, 2019, thanks to Spirit. Okay, so I'm getting keys. So I'm feeling like you guys can be either typing something or something to do with keys. Maybe you guys lost your keys and maybe this has to do with drugs. I don't know. Um, I'm getting building blocks. So I feel like a lot of you guys can be laying down some type of foundation as well. Um, you guys can also be going to... I'm getting some of you guys are going to some type of gala or some type of big, big party. And you guys are really um, looking very, very fabulous. And people are just looking at you like, oh my God. And okay. Show stop, okay. I'm also getting so one of you guys are being gifted a car. One of you guys are being gifted a car from I'm either it's like a sugar daddy, sugar mama, or like a, a it's not your boyfriend or your girlfriend per se, you know, but some of you guys are being gifted some type of vehicle. Um when it comes to Okay, there's a need for you guys to definitely um, take take time for self. Okay, take time for self. Rest. Take the God and God to sleep that you need to. There's a need for you guys to also look at your diet, look at your health. A lot of you guys can be fine. Um, it's like I'm getting something to do with sweat, sweating profusely, um, headaches, something to do with like body. Okay, so some of you guys can be going through like a spiritual awakening. Other of you guys, um, you guys need to go to the doctor because it's something to do with like your muscles or something to do with like your tendons, your uh, your tendons, your ligaments, something like that. Okay. But some of you guys, this is just a spiritual transformation, and your body is trying to match up with your uh, your spiritual, right? Your mental, okay, I should say. So I definitely feel like a lot of you guys can be looking into new things to do, like new physical activities, uh, tennis, basketball, swimming, um, dance. There's an aha moment that you guys are having when it comes to self-love. When it comes to self-love, when it comes to self, mind, body, soul, when it comes to a relationship, when it comes to family, when it comes to people around you. There's some type of aha moment that's going to allow you to either break away from certain things, okay, or realize certain things about self that you may have been doing or that you may have been um, maybe limiting yourself, okay, as well, when it comes to certain situations or certain people, okay? 
All right, let's go ahead and get started, Capricorn Virgo Taurus. All right, Capricorn Virgo Taurus collectively. September 6th through 8th, September 6th through 8th, 2019. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you for allowing me to be the vessel for my lovely Earth signs. What information do I have for my Earth signs collectively? Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. If you guys want to know, one more shuffle. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. I'm going to take this right here. All right, so Okay, so I feel like there's a goal that you guys may have been going towards, and I feel like you guys may not be putting time, energy, or effort into this. But this can be someone that's bringing you some type of offer of stability, of some type of financial um, stability, and it's like you don't want to put time, energy, and effort into it. You guys can also be cutting off communication with something or someone um, because you guys, um, I feel like you guys don't, you guys feel like this person or this situation isn't harmonious or isn't balanced, and I feel like you guys are waiting for something new to come in and I feel like that's the reason why you guys are moving forward or you guys are choosing to move forward because you guys realize that you're having to wait or you don't want to wait you and you're wanting to take action okay but this could be how someone feels about you you guys can be definitely dealing with the energies of Capricorn Virgo Taurus Scorpio Cancer Pisces Libra Gemini Aquarius Aries Leo Sagittarius okay so I definitely see that you guys are letting go or there's a need for you guys to let go so <coughs> Ooh. Communication. My throat, guys. It's not me, it's you. You guys are not expressing yourself, or you guys are not telling the, the full truth, or you guys are not expressing exactly how you feel when it comes to a person or a situation. I feel like you guys are resistant of some type of change, or resistant of letting go of something, someone. This could be something from the past, a childhood ideo ideology, a habit, a behavior, a way of being. And I feel like a lot of people are involved in a situation and you're not wanting to put time into it. This could be the reason why you're resistant on changing or letting something go because you're having to compete or you don't want to compete. Okay, this could even be for this could be for a job or this could be for um, a lover. You don't want to compete, okay, is what I'm hearing. The Queen of Pentacles, you're very abundant, you're very successful. This can be someone that's very affluent. You guys can also be being patronized for your business. You guys can definitely be, be seen as very knowledgeable, wise. This person knows their shit, whether you're a guy or a girl. The Queen of Pentacles is also mother mother energy. So I feel like when it comes to a mother, um, some of you guys can definitely be putting putting to rest a lot of um, back and forth, okay? You guys can definitely be realizing that you're wanting emotional fulfillment or you're having emotional fulfillment when it comes to your mother or a mother or a child's mother or a child's father but nonetheless the queen of pentacles you guys definitely focus on your point focus on your foundation people see you as very successful very um like you're able to you're very smart you're very affluent here okay you're very beautiful you're very handsome you're very passionate about your foundation or what you've created. You're very protective over it as well. You, you're definitely seeing the money, the finances this weekend here, okay? You've gotten a new job or you're just seeing a windfall of finances, a windfall of money when it comes to your creative ideas, your products, your services as well. You're definitely getting emotional fulfillment when it comes to a family dynamic because you're making logical decisions for self. You're definitely seeing your best. You're feeling emotionally satisfied when it comes to your partner, your significant other, whoever you're dealing with as well. You're making logical decisions here so that you can be more, so that you can be stable, secure with themselves, so you can be more confident. This can also be the money. The money's here. Y'all don't have nothing to worry about. Y'all got in a new job. The money, the money is coming because y'all made logical decisions here. You guys have, you guys can be have making a logical decision on someone that you view as wealthy, whether this is a man or a woman. They're very handsome. They're very beautiful they're very affluent they, they can manifest money okay this is someone that you feel like is magical as well capricorn virgo tours 
or this can be how they feel about you. But I feel like the Four of Cups, if someone is still looking at the past, or someone is still stuck on something, but I do feel like someone's coming towards you, the Nine of Swords. Someone's coming towards you because they see you as very successful, very wealthy, very independent, very um ambitious, okay? They're not, they're, they're done with deceiving, okay? They walked away from situations that was deceitful or shady or shysty here. And someone is exhausted. They can be feeling tired. They can be having a lot of tasks or take care of a lot of people. Yeah. Someone can be feeling tired. Exhausted as well. Because they they want this with you. That's what they're saying. They want this with you. They're not gonna they're not gonna deceive, they're not gonna um be shy. See, they're not gonna cheat on you anymore. Even though you may have walked away or someone may have walked away, someone is still feeling like they're feeling tired, exhausted, defeated. Their emotions, some of the emotions, they're trying to temper the emotions, they're trying to be balanced when it comes to um the situation. They're not they don't want conflict. Someone someone doesn't want conflict here. And I feel like someone wants calming waters, but I feel like the Six of Swords are very, someone doesn't want. Someone doesn't want someone to walk away is what I'm hearing. Capital Virgo Taurus. Emotionally, that's going to cause somebody to be upset. Okay? Because I feel like regarding their friends, this could be an outing, an event, a trip, something like that emotion there they were emotionally satis unsatisfied or maybe this is you you're unsatisfied with the things around you the relationships around you you don't have time for conflict you're not putting time in, into conflict you're moving away from all that and you're mastering your emotions but if this isn't the case Capricorn Regulatory someone is upset because you don't want to you're not defensive anymore you're not being defensive you're having a more um logical approach about things You've mastered your emotions, and that's the reason why, because this person is still unbalanced. Someone is still emotionally unbalanced. Someone can have um, someone can have baggage that they're bringing on to you, and it's not you. That's really what I'm getting. Because all these energies, this is Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, this is Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Someone can have a moon or a rising in these signs. Okay? But I feel like Capricorn Virgo Taurus, you're mastering your emotions. You let a lot of things go. You you're being more abundant. You're looking forward to your foundation here. You're not putting time into situations that are having you compete. You're not gonna compete for nobody's love. You're not gonna compete for attention from someone. You're letting it go. You walked away. And the minute you walked away, someone came back because they realized that they really weren't getting what they needed or they really weren't getting what they uh, wanted when it came to these hoes, okay, they had a, they had a king or a queen and they chose to be with these hoes and then they didn't get what they wanted, they was looking for what you can give them in people, in more than one person, but I feel like you guys are mastering your emotions and you guys are communicating the truth you're communicating your truth you're communicating that you don't have time for bull crap you don't have time for people that are that have that are in and out you don't have people you don't have time for people that make you make you feel like you have to compete or that you are an option the six of wands reverse and that's the reason why you pulled back your time energy and affection this can also be these these can also be um you're mastering your emotions and this person is trying to come to you with this offer, but they're questioning if you still are passionate about them, if you still feel the same way, if you still want something with them, if you still see something with them, okay? <clears throat> this can be two men or two women, whatever and however it resonates with you. Take what you need and leave the rest, all right? Capricorn Regulatories collectively. What information do I have at this time? Thank you. September 6th through 8th. What information do I have at this time? All right. Thank you, sir. One more card. Capcom Virgo Taurus. Collectively. What information do I have? Collectively. Thank you. 
Thank you, Spirit. Talk to me. Okay. So, I have the Ace of Michael. A wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the, ho in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems with others. This is definitely communication. I started I started your reading clearing my throat. So this is definitely saying that you're needing to speak your truth. You're needing to communicate. You're needing to clear up any communication problems with, with others, whether it's family, friends, people around you. You're needing to speak your truth here. You're also needing to realize that when you speak your truth, you feel like a weight has been lifted off your shoulders. Or this is you starting over, starting fresh, okay? The Seven of Raphael. Time to make a decision. Be clear on what you want and take action. A need for detoxification. So this is your heart chakra. You guys can also be opening up your heart or whatever situations that are happening when it comes to unsatisfying relationships or this person or competing with A, B, and C or whatever you're having to deal with. You're having to open up your heart and realize that you're having to make a decision. You have to be clear on what you want and take action. Okay, whatever color that stands out to you, Capricorn Virgo Taurus, is the chakra that you need to work on. Okay, this is also you need to detox. So, cop one of my aura cleansers. They are fifteen dollars for one, thirty dollars for two, five ninety nine for shipping. All right, guys, and I'm definitely feeling like you guys are needing to have a fresh start. A lot of you guys are wanting a fresh start, but you guys are still, you guys still have um energies lingering. People, energies lingering. There's a need for a, kund a kundalini awakening, or you guys may have had some type of awakening before, but it's like you guys may have been around the wrong energies, or now you're realizing that these people or this this situations around you, you're needing to let it go. You're needing to cleanse that. So I strongly recommend that you guys get my oil cleanse. It's an herbal mixture that you guys boil. It will release any stagnant energy, any worries, any stress, any anxiety. From your mind, body, soul, spirit, and also protect your work field, okay? So it allow you to feel upbeat. I use it. I do it as well. So I definitely feel like a lot of you guys are needing to speak your truth and communicate when it comes to your heart shock or when it comes to what's on your heart. Whether it's a job, whether it's a person, whether it's a situation, you need to speak your truth, okay? Peace, love, and light, Ashe. I love you like I love myself.